How old were you when you, how many grades did you go to in school? Um, six, I think. Okay. And how old were you when you finished school? When I started. When you finished. Well, how old were you when you started? Uh, six, I think, wasn't it? And how old were you when you finished? Must be ten or eleven. Ten or eleven? Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, Grandma. Yeah. I've been listening to you talk so far, and what I've learned is fascinating. You come from a beautiful place in County Mayo, Ireland. You had lakefront property. Yeah. You lived in a two-bedroom mansion, and you had a family yacht. Yeah. You must have come from a very rich family. Huh. No. <laughs> you weren't rich. No way. No, you were poor? Yep. More so than rich. More poor than rich, huh? Yeah. So you had a lot of chores to do then yeah. around the farm. You didn't have hired help to do it. No. You had to do it yourself. Can you tell me what you had to do around the farm? I didn't have much to do. The boys did it. But uh, I did, uh, with them um, in the spring, we get the potatoes that would be good seed potatoes, you know. So we'd get the potato, and we'd, where the seed was, where they were growing, we'd cut them and put them aside, and then when they'd have the day of, and putting them down, they'd uh, have a day of, uh, they'd have to get the ground ready. And if it was on drills, they'd get it this way. If it was on a tool ridge, they'd get it that way. And they'd have a spade, and they'd split the spade, put it out, put the slit down, and close it in again. So that's how they'd get the seed down. I see. What else did you have to do? Did you do any other planting? Yeah. Uh, we didn't do much. No, like oats and uh, rye. The, the men used to do that, like, you know. But we planted rye and oats, or seeded it. And. Uh, so what did you have to eat then? We had potatoes. Potatoes? All the time. Okay. And uh, in the garden, we had always a little garden for the house. Like, we'd have so much, uh, uh, so much space for vegetables, so much space for something else. So did you, what kind of vegetables did you have? We had cabbage, uh -huh. carrots, parsnips, uh, uh, oops, what did I see? Uh, I don't, I did can't you didn't forget. have corn, did you? Well, that's the, oh, that's the bigger. That's not her own, the field. That's oh, the way out in the I field. I see, that wasn't in your family garden. No. Okay. No. What about meat? Well, meat, we had, we had chickens and hens and ducks, and then once in maybe a month or so, one of the neighbors had killed a sheep or a pig or something, and then they divided among the, the neighbors. Like they said, they'd buy a piece. First one to buy a piece, and I want to buy a piece, and the other one buy a piece. And in the meantime, they were getting paid for their chickens or their whatever they were. So how many cows and sheep did you have? We had uh, three cows. Uh, well, that was milk cows. Three milk cows, three, or they would have maybe six calves or so. And um, were those for meat? Yep. Yeah. They were for for killing later. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. And what about sheep? How many did you have? Oh, we didn't have too many. They had. They always had herd of sheep. We didn't have that much ground for sheep. Oh, you didn't have enough land, huh? No. Yeah. Uh, tell me about cooking. You didn't have electricity. Wait, what? You didn't have electricity. Turkey? Electricity. Oh, you no. You didn't have power, you didn't have gas. No. So how did we you had, cook? We had a stove, like, you know. And they got coal, if they didn't have coal. They bought some coal and use the coal in the place of, of heat. And the way they'd have a coal, they'd light a, they had a stove. 
I just put the coal into, light it, and get it going, and then it could keep it going for the day. Did you ever have to cook over an open fire? Yeah. And how do you do that? Well, you could. Be careful and don't burn yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. Uh, where do you put the food? Did you have a pot, or did you just put it on a stick and hold it over the fire? You put it in a pot. Uh-huh. If you had a pot of water, you'd boil it, like, you know. Otherwise, you could um, just roast it. Uh -huh. Get an oven and put the coals over the lid of the oven. And, and then when it's done, t you know, eat it. So you, you had a lot of boiled food. Yeah. A lot oh, of yeah. soup and stew. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. How, how did you bake bread? Well, we had an oven. Oh, you did? Yeah, you did. Get the bread and put it in the, they, they had an oven like, you know, and they put coals over it and the fire would be under it and they'd bake it that way. <coughs> over open fire? <coughs> or was the oven closed? <coughs> the oven was closed. Okay. Yeah. Now how about lighting? How about what? Lights. Lights? Did you have lights? Just kerosene. Kerosene? Yeah. From a lamp? They had or a lamp. Oh, yes, they had lamps in the kitchen and lamps in the bedroom. Lamps everywhere for light. Mm -hmm. So they weren't bad off. It wasn't that bad, huh? No. No? It sounds worse than it is, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about clothes? Did you make your own clothes? Yep. What did you use to make them? Well, just like you were talking about the wall. They get the wall. They fix it, they, you know. Well, let's do that. Maybe you could show me how to do this. This is this is the way you would take the wool from the sheep. Yeah, half of that's Entirely. enough. That's enough. Okay, and now tell me what you do with this stuff. Was that too much? No, yeah. Okay. So what are you doing? I just know what I show you. So what are you doing right now? I'm te oh, teasing it, opening it, get it ready for uh, for for um, yarn. For spinning. Yeah. And that's how you do it. Yeah. Oh. You do it this way. And then after it's teased out, then you turn it around. And now what are you doing? Well you made. So you're trying to take the yarn off? Yep, well, you, you make a roll out of it. Oh, you're rolling it. Yeah. And that's it? Did you roll this? Now what do you do with that? If this is what you, you use. You make a roll out of it. Then you have the spinning wheel. Uh-huh. That's your... Of I see the, what do you do after... You start on the spinning wheel. And you keep the spinning wheel going. And in the meantime, you're making the yarn like, you know. You're getting this. You're getting the thing ready to, you know what I mean, like to get this ready. Yeah. There's your roll now. And that's what you use to spin. Yeah. Now, what is that now? That's what you put onto a spinning wheel? This is a roll. That's a roll. Like you just got them from the yarn. 
And does everybody and do get, that? It's been it. Uh, it's put on the spinning wheel, and you keep twisting the the wheel. And in the meantime, you're pulling this apart so you get the you get into a thread. Mm -hmm. And then after the thread, you roll it up in a big ball, and we send it over to the the weaver to make flannel out of it. And then she the way she does it. She has two, she throws one here and one there, and then she put one this way and one that way, and then she pulls the, the board, like, you know, to make, put the, the thread, the yarn, into, to each other. So, Who was anyway. the weaver? Huh? Who was the weaver? Mary Kavanagh. Oh, okay. And then, like, you had yarn and she weaved it into material? Yeah. And was it all white? It was all like that color? Yeah. Well, when you have black and white mixed, you can't dye the wool. <coughs> you can dye the wool and have it maybe what a red or white. Set that in one red or one white like and then she throws one this way and one that way and then pull the board back. You, you had a skirt that you came, uh, that your mother gave you when you came to America? Yeah. It was a red skirt yeah. that she made. Yeah. It was from her wool, and then she had Kavanaugh weave it for you, and then she made a skirt for you. Yeah. How did she get red? A red I, skirt. How did she get a red skirt? Get a rusted? A red skirt. Red. Oh. She dyed the wool. She did that First. at home? At, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then she, yeah. Uh, Carved it and spun it like you know, and got it into the thread. And then, whatever thread you want, if you have it dyed red or dyed whatever t color you have the wool dyed, then you can mix it in the weaver when you're weaving it. Mm. That was a real special skirt for you, I think, right? Huh? That was a very special skirt. Oh, yeah. That your mother made for you. Yeah. So, this is about the time you were thinking about coming to America? Yeah. When did you decide that you wanted to immigrate to America? Well, my brother was coming. Okay. And when he was coming, I wanted to come. Oh, okay. And so did you come with him? I, I, we couldn't get that. We couldn't get a ticket at the same time. Oh, did you have a problem um, getting your approval? So the only thing that, uh, when I went to get the, the reference from the priest, he said, well, I don't know about this. He said, you were at the gate when they, when they had a meeting going on between the Free State and the, the Free State and the English. And he said, you were at the gate, you and your father and your two sisters. Your brother. Well, no, my, my was at, at the meeting. I beg your pardon, Father. My mother was home, sick in bed, and my two one of the girls had to stay home with my mother, and the other one was with me at catechism. I said that's the, the you know the story. So he said, "Well, I'll have to look into this more before I can give it to you." Well, that's all right. My mother said that why she'll go back and talk to the priest and see what the problem is. I said, no, you won't. I said, not for me. I said, if you didn't give it to me, I'd get along without it. Mm -hmm. So I did. I didn't go back for it. I wouldn't let her go because I thought, well, they had no right to refuse me because my brother was a dispatch carrier. In the IRA? Yes. Okay. But they had no right to, to, to uh, you know, let it out on me, so. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I told her, no, she wouldn't. So I took her with the will of God. I the went American off. Civil War. I was called the for my, uh, uh, you know, <coughs> the ticket. <Sullivan coughs> Major the and I didn't have any. So anyway, I had my age when I went to the priest before that. I had my age. And I gave him the age, but he never looked at it. 
If that wasn't America, that he never looked at it, he just went and put it over the, the, you know. The wire thing? Yeah, the wire. He put it over the wire, never even looked at it. So you came to America illegally because you didn't have the approval of the priest, right? Yep, yep. And here you are. Yeah, and here I am. Still a wonderful, faithful person. Yep. Well, so then you went off to America. Where did you leave from? Where did you leave Ireland from? Uh, Queenstown. Queenstown, which was yeah. in Cork, right? Yeah. And um, how long of a crossing? Do you remember how long it took you on the boat? The ship, I should say. It took us quite a while, though. Days? About eight days, maybe. Oh, okay. What did you do on the boat? Oh, we did everything. We said we were teenagers. We didn't care what happened. Oh, so like what? Dancing? Playing yeah. games? We did get yeah, what dancing and singing and having a gay old time. We didn't care if they kept us. Who how did you get your passage? Who paid your passage? Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom? Yeah. Where, where was he? He was he Chicago. Oh, okay. So he sent you money. Yeah. And and you got the ticket. And then did you pay him back? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That my was... uncle my uncle Phil said. The first money, the first money you earn, pay your passage. Okay. So I did. Do you remember how much it cost? Oh, no. No, you don't have any idea. Do you remember coming into the harbor in New York and seeing the Statue of Liberty? Yeah, I do remember that well. Was that, that must have been impressive, right? Yeah, yeah. So how did you feel? Were you excited? I felt good and overexcited, didn't care. And you weren't scared? No. Was there somebody there to meet you in New York? In New York, no. Only all that was with us. There was a group of us. And and you were going on to Chicago. Yeah. Did someone go on to Chicago with you? There was quite a few going to Chicago. And how did you go to Chicago then from New York? Did we uh, did we get a trade? Probably. Yeah. Okay. When you got to Chicago, then who was there to meet you? Um, my Mike. Pat Feedy, a few I could name, but it doesn't make any difference to you. Oh, I could fail, so. Mm -hmm. So did you go out dancing that night? No. You didn't? You were too tired? Yeah. Oh. Well, we were too excited anyway. Oh, where did you stay before you got a job then? Who did you stay with? Uncle, I stayed with them. I had to stay with Tom because he paid my passage. And that was your mother's brother, right? Yeah, because I couldn't stay anywhere else. Hmm. And so then you uh, got a job probably fairly soon, right? You probably weren't there long until you got a job right away? No, nope. I got a job. What did you do? What was your first Housework. Job? Housework. And yep. do you remember who uh, the people were? They were Shannons. They were Shannons. And yeah. so I know you cooked, right? Yeah. Well, that's what I did. I did the regular housework. And cleaned and... Yeah. Did you do... Um, and yeah. so did they have a lot of dinners for other people? Did you, like, oh, did yeah. they entertain a lot? If I did, they got in cooks. Oh, I yeah. didn't have to do it. Oh, oh, so you just cooked for the family. Yeah. Did they have any children? Uh, three. Oh, they did? Three kids. Oh, okay. And who watched them? They had a, well, Annie watched them. And they, I don't know if it's there in the other house, and Annie. She was the nanny. Was the nurse and I was the cook. Oh, that must have been fun. And yep. so did you get weekends off? Oh, yeah. And what did you do on the weekends? Well, we would, God knows what we did, whatever was going. Oh, like mostly. You did a lot of dancing. Yeah. And, and wasn't your brother Mike a good dancer? Oh, he was. So you yep. danced a lot with him? So, yeah. And all the other boys? Yeah. And it's second badly and like, you know, all that stuff. Oh, okay. So then like you, I think you had more jobs than one. You went to a couple different places. 